Hey you guys, what's up, Saltwater Hook? Again, another video for you guys. Uh, today, well before we get to it, please uh, take your time to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for future videos. I am posting new content, I am posting new different kind of videos, not only just fishing. So today, what I'm bringing you guys is, I was asked before to show you guys, make a video out of it, how do I uh, set up my rig when I go fishing. So I'm gonna show you guys how I tie in braid it to fluorocarbon and also how I tie it my uh, 1 8 ounce jig, which is most of the time that's what I use. I use only 1 8 um, unless I'm trying to heat something real deep, then I go with a quarter, but I usually, I usually just use a 1 8 jig. I like the red heads with the white eyes, but you know, everybody's different. You guys can choose, uh, you know, whatever you like. But right now, I'm gonna show you how to tie up a braided uh, line to a fluorocarbon and the fluorocarbon to the jig. So that's for the video today. So I hope you guys stay tuned and uh, watch this. Oh guys, and uh, just so you know, there's gonna be a giveaway on this video. So make sure you leave a comment below uh, for the chance to win a shirt. It's uh, my Fin Finder shirt. It's an app that just came up not so long ago. You can brag on it, you can post your uh, pictures, you can share them with your friends. It's pretty cool that, check it out, it's on Google and on uh, Apple. So uh, don't forget today I'm gonna give out a brand new shirt, it's my Fin Finder shirt, and I'm gonna send it to you to your house. Uh, so make sure you leave your comment below and so you can enter the uh, giveaway, okay? Thanks. Okay guys, so this is how we're gonna do it. I got the braider right here and the full carbon right here. That's how we're going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and pull some of the floor, uh, braid it out. All right. Get my braided line. Okay, I'm going to hold this this way, just like that. I'm going to get a piece of the floor carbon, which I already cut before. It's about a foot and a half. There you go. All right, and this I'm going to put it together. I'm going to put the floor carbon on top of the braided line, just like that. All right. Now all I gotta do is hold this right here. I'm not gonna let this one go. I'm just gonna hold it right here. And this right here, I'm gonna make a, a, a circle, a loop on it. And I'm gonna go over and under, and I'm gonna pull all the material. Again, over and under. And I'm gonna do this like three or four times. I'm gonna go over and under. Okay, I'm gonna go over and under. Okay, and then I have this right here. And all I gotta do is pull it together. I don't want this not to burn, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little lubricant on it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep on pulling. And make sure you pull all four of them. And there you go. It's kind of like a blood knot, but that's how I put them together. And it's very strong, haven't had any problems with it. After you pulled it real good, and you go ahead and cut the ends. Just make sure you cut the right one. Of course, bread is a little more harder to cut. So we have that cut right there. And that's how I make my tie in between my braid and my fluorocarbon. There you go. Now to my jig head, what I'm gonna do is, get the jig head right here, like a, like one eight with the eyes. I love it. Trout love it. Redfish love it. But you can choose whatever, whatever uh, jig you like. So what I'm gonna do on this one, I'm I'm running, I'm running the line to the loop. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. And I'm gonna hold it right here. I'm not gonna let this one go. I'm gonna turn this jig around a few times. All right, 
for just so I can uh, hold it right I'm gonna do about five you can do how many you like okay I'm gonna run this and through the loop that I just made all right and I'm gonna run it back to the other loop that I just made again so I'm gonna go in the loop I made and I'm gonna go in the loop I made should look like that okay now I'm gonna go ahead and pull both of the lines once I have it pretty tight then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this line first I'm gonna lubricate a little bit I don't want that not to burn okay, I'm gonna pull it okay once the nut is like that I go ahead and pull this one too I gotta use my teeth guys I'm gonna pull this one with my teeth and this one so it'll be real tight all right check it out and I haven't had any problems with it you cut the end of that I never had any problems because of uh, a bad leader and that's how you do it there you go so I don't know what that not is called be honest with you I just learned it and I uh, start doing it and again this is almost like a blood knot and that's how I do that one okay guys well that's it that's how you put them together I hope you like this video if you do please uh, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel again I'm posting new kind of videos different kind of videos I will be live this Wednesday so I hope I hope you guys to see you there so again thank you for everything you do for this channel so what hook out